Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm an attorney with Goldman & Associates. Today we're going to talk about something very interesting, part of the educational series that we have for uh, the clients and the public. Uh, subscribe to this for an opportunity to get uh, our videos as they come up. Very helpful to everybody. Um, today I want to talk about finalization documents. You have to remember one thing. The court speaks through its orders. What does that mean? It means that if a judge enters a verbal order from the bench and says, you are divorced, good luck to you both, hits the gavel, case adjourned, next case, call the next case, words to that effect, you're still not able to go out and marry somebody. You know why? Because the court speaks through its orders. It's written orders. You need a judgment of divorce that says what that court just said from the bench. And once the court signs that and gives you a true copy, enters it with the court clerk, then the next day you can go out and get married, no problem. But we've had cases where people believed they were divorced, but for some reason, the finalization documents were never entered. And then you know what happened? Years later, they meet someone. They think they're divorced, they remarry. And then maybe they have another family. And it turns out that that is actually an illegal union because they weren't technically divorced from the first one. And then there's all sorts of issues. That guy dies. Are you a surviving spouse? How could you be a surviving spouse if you're not legitimately a spouse to begin with? There are all sorts of implications. So remember one thing. Whatever you do from the court, you must get a written order. The court clerk who's sitting downstairs doesn't know what the judge gaveled upstairs. That court clerk needs an order that specifies that so it can be entered into the record. Therefore, what, it's one of the classic mistakes that people make when they try to represent themselves. They, they get all this stuff, but they don't bring the race across the finish line. They stop right before the finish line and therefore they lose. So what you gotta remember is there's a lot of finalization documents um, that go into the proper handling of a case. I've actually had people ask me, my case is over. The judge said, good luck to me. Why am I still getting billed for documents? <laughs> the reason is because the judge only says what he says in anticipation of the drafting of those documents, which he will sign later on. If he doesn't sign them, you don't have diddly do. So therefore, always remember, it's very important to get your finalization documents in order. If you don't know what they are, if you don't know how to get them, even if you've brought the case all the way to the end, it may behoove you to hire a lawyer, if you can find one who will do this, just to draft the final judgment of divorce and make sure everybody's served and that the case is shut down appropriately because if it's not everything that you've done, wasted energy. Uh, if you have any questions about this, reach out and of course we'll be glad to help you out and give you guidance in that regard.